Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, where I recap and review the latest episodes of, and just like that, the revival and sequel of the iconic Sex and the City series. In this video, I will be talking about the season 2 finale, titled The Last Supper Part 2, Samantha's Surprise Appearance. If you haven't watched the episode yet, be warned that this video contains major spoilers. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The episode picks up where the previous one left off, with Carrie, Sarah Jessica Parker, Miranda, Cynthia Nixon, and Charlotte, Kristen Davis, having dinner at a fancy restaurant to celebrate Carrie's birthday. They are joined by their new friends Seema, Sarita Chaudhry, Lisa, Nicole Airy Parker, and Naya, Karen Pittman, who have become part of their inner circle over the course of the season. The ladies are having a good time, reminiscing about their past adventures, sharing their current struggles, and making plans for the future. They toast to Carrie's new book, Miranda's new career, Charlotte's new family, Seema's new freedom, Lisa's new podcast, and Naya's new love. However, the mood changes when a familiar face walks into the restaurant. Samantha Jones, Kim Cattrall, Carrie's former best friend and publicist, who moved to London after a falling out with Carrie over Big's death. Samantha looks stunning in a red dress and a blonde bob, and she approaches the table with a smile. She says she is in town for a business meeting and she saw Carrie's book in a bookstore window. She decided to buy it and read it, and she was moved by Carrie's honesty and vulnerability. She says she is sorry for everything that happened between them, and she hopes they can mend their friendship. Carrie is speechless at first, but then she gets up and hugs Samantha. She tells her that she missed her so much and that she is glad she came. Miranda and Charlotte also hug Samantha, and they invite her to join them for dinner. Samantha agrees, and she sits down next to Carrie. The other women welcome her warmly, and they start chatting like old friends. Samantha tells them about her life in London, her successful PR firm, her new boyfriend, and her recent adventures. She also compliments them on their achievements, their looks, and their choices. She says she is proud of them all, and that they are still her soulmates. The episode then cuts to a montage of scenes, showing how each of the women's lives has changed for the better since the beginning of the season. Carrie has found peace with Big's death, and she has rekindled her romance with Aiden, John Corbett, who has divorced his wife and moved back to New York. Miranda has divorced Steve, David Agenberg, and moved in with Che, Sarah Ramirez, who has quit their sitcom and started a new comedy show with Patty Thomas, Julie White. Charlotte has embraced Rox, Alexa Swinton, gender identity and modeling career, and she has bonded with Harry, Evan Handler, over their love for the Americans. Seema has finalized her divorce from Mira, Azif Manvi, and started dating a younger man named Raj, Rizwan Manji. Lisa has launched a successful podcast called Black Girl Magic with Herbert, Chris Jackson, as her producer. Nia has fallen in love with Andrew, Blair Underwood, who has reconciled with his ex-wife and his son. The episode ends with a voiceover from Carrie, who says that life is full of surprises, some good and some bad, but that what matters is how we deal with them. She says that she has learned to appreciate what she has, to let go of what she doesn't need, and to embrace what comes next. She says that she is grateful for her friends, old and new, who have been there for her through thick and thin. She says that they are more than just friends, they are family. She says that they are and just like that. Thanks for watching please like, share and give feedback. 